welcome back everyone so there is an amazing free tool that is available from a long time and provided by microsoft only so the name of the tool is sys internal and it was created in 1996 by mark rasinovic to host his advanced system utilities and technical information so whether you are an it pro or a developer you will find sys internal utilities to help you manage troubleshoot and diagnose your windows and linux system and application so bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type sys internals download and then you need to click on the first link of microsoft that says sys internal suit now here if you want to read more about the sys internal suit then you can read it there are a lot of detail that you can find out over here then from the left in menu option you will have to click on downloads and now it will list you all kind of tool that are included in this particular suit. For example, you will be getting the access CHK, auto logon, auto run, the blue screen, cache set, disk mon, disk view, process explorer. And there are many other tools that you will find very useful here like RAM map. You might have heard about the RAM map. That is an advanced physical memory usage analytics utility and present usage information in different ways on its several different tab. Similarly, you can check out the registry usage. So these are the tools that you will be getting. Now, if you want to download any particular tool over here, then you can simply click on it and download the tool from here. But what I will be recommending you and what I personally do, I download the entire sys internal suit so again you have to go to the very top and click on sys internal suit that says the entire set of sys internal utilities rolled up into a single download so click on sys internal suit and it will be downloading in a zip file so wait it's around 50.7 mb and once you get downloaded you need to click on the downloaded folder right click on the zip file click on extract all click on extract bingo so now you can see all the tool will be displayed over here so now it's all up to you whichever tool you want to enjoy whichever you want to use you can go ahead and open it so i will be explaining few of them so that you can know how exactly it work and the very first utility that i will be sharing is the zoom it that i love the most and you can go with the 32 or the 64 bit just make a double click on it click on agree and this will bring up this kind of simple dashboard now here you get different types of options and in the zoom it says zoom toggle and by default the shortcut key will be control plus one and if you want to increase the magnification level then you can increase or decrease it so basically what will happen when you click on ok and the next time when you bring up any website like if i go on this website and if I want to zoom any kind of part, then I have to use the shortcut key that is control plus one. And the moment I press this key, so you can see the screen has been zoomed. And now from my mouse, I can hover on the left and right to view any kind of part or any kind of text. Now this can be really useful for the people who have trouble reading it. Now they can highlight, they can zoom any particular part and they can read it. Now even you can increase the zoom or you can decrease it using the mouse scroller. So if you scroll up, so you can see it's zooming in again. And if you want to reduce it, then you can scroll down from your mouse. And now in order to bring up the zoom in tool again, you need to click on the system tray icon that is on the right hand corner. And you will find the zoom IT icon. Again, just double click on it. Then you have the live zoom. You can enjoy this tool as well. Then we have the draw option, another amazing option. And here it says control plus two will be the shortcut key. So basically what it does, you can read here. It gives you all the detailed information in a simple language. Now, if I click on OK, and again, if I go to any website and press the shortcut key, that is control plus two. So you can see on my mouse cursor, there is a red dot. And if I want to increase or decrease the size, then I need to press the control key and then I will scroll up from my mouse and you can see the shape is growing bigger. And if I want to reduce it, then I need to press the control key and scroll down. If you want to change the color of this red dot, 
then you can also make it to green like pressing just the G key and it will turn into a green color. If you want to make it blue, type the B color. If you want to make it yellow, then press the Y key. So how this can be useful to you? Let's say if you want to draw any kind of shape or you want to draw any kind of things on any particular page or website. So you can simply start dragging, start making the shape. You can highlight any kind of part and this can be really useful for the people who are in teaching or who go with any kind of presentation or demonstration then they can use this kind of tool not only this you can also make a perfect shape so if i press and hold the shift key and now if i draw the line so you can see it's going with a perfect line and if i press the control key and then if i draw then i can easily draw a square or a rectangle and if i want to make any kind of arrow then i have to press the control and shift now I can draw an arrow. It's a very useful tool. Now part of that, there are many more things that you can do. Like if you want to make a whiteboard where you want to go and give any kind of explanation, then simply press the W key from your keyboard and you will be getting a whiteboard. And now here you can draw any kind of shape or if you want to write anything, you want to go with any kind of explanation. So it will be behaving like a whiteboard. And if you want to turn into a blackboard, then you need to press the K key from your keyboard and now it will be a blackboard. So you can switch between white and blackboard by pressing the W and the K key. Now if you want to write something perfectly, then you can press the T key from the keyboard and now you can start writing anything that you want to. Like I will type subscribe. Okay, so this can be anything and it can be really useful for you for many kind of people who want to do this kind of work. Alright, now let's move to the next part. Again, if I bring up the Zoom IT option, then it gives you the type demo break, break option. So now if you want to go for any kind of break, like say, if you are a teacher, if you do any kind of gaming, or if you are uh, working as a team, and you want to create any kind of break screen, then you can use the control plus three, and the timer you can set from here, even you can set from directly from the screen. So what I will do, I will click on OK. Now I will press Ctrl plus 3. And now you can see the countdown here. That I can increase the time by using the up and down arrow key. If you want to increase the time like from 10 to 15 minutes, then you can do that. And the countdown will be started. Then you have the record option and the snip option that you can also check it out. Alright, so now let's go with the next utility. That is Procmon. And if I double click on it. Click on agree. Click on yes. So now this will give me the entire process monitor where I can monitor all kind of process running in my Windows 10 or 11 PC and laptop. So from here, I can detail view all kind of application where exactly they are running and they give you tons of options here. Tons of tools here that you can use it to manage it. And from here only, if you right click on any of the application, then you can view the properties. You can find the whole detail about this application. Again, if you right click on it, you can search this application online. You can include the explorer.exe. You can highlight it. These are the options and basically this is for the people who do many kind of troubleshooting. This tool will be really useful for them. Then we have the cache set. And if you make a double click on it again, click on yes, click on agree. Now this will bring up a small box and it help you to basically clear the cache of your Windows 10 and 11 with one simple click. And it gives you the cache information, the current size, the peak size, a working set minimum, working set maximum. And in order to clear the cache, simply you need to click on clear. You can also go with the reset. Alright, so this tool can be really useful for that particular time when you have some problem on Windows 10 and 11, especially with the cache. Then we have another popular utility that is the RAM map. And if you make a double click on it again, click on yes, click on agree. Now this will bring up this kind of dashboard. So basically this clear the RAM cache of the computer. So let me show you if I bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab and here in the memory section. So you can see I have a cache here of around 985 MB. The cache of the RAM can be around uh, 2 gigabyte, 3 gigabyte, sometimes more than that and you can easily clear it. 
So now on my end, you can see it's around one gigabyte. And in order to clear it, in order to clear this cache, I need to open this RAM map. Then I need to click on empty. Click empty standby list. Now you can see the cache has been reduced from one gigabyte to 179 MB. All right. So if you have any problem with the high RAM usage, you can go and enjoy this application. And so there are so many tools here that you can check it out. Now, if you need a detailed video and need a detail about each and every utility over here, then let me know in the comment section. I will be surely bringing up the part two of this video where I will be going in the detail with each and every application. So very useful tool, free, safe with tons of feature. So go ahead and enjoy it. The link will be in the description. And if you found this video helpful, guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.